everyone welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to be showing you my beauty empties i like to collect these empties just because i like to show you guys what i used and usually everything that i use up i like if i don't like it i won't finish it so i'm going to be showing you beauty empties i don't have a lot of makeup because because makeup is kind of hard to run out of so i do have a lot of hair care and um a couple of other stuff that i want to show you guys so before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my social media please 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 and yeah let's go ahead and get started so makeup related i only have three things because like i said it's kind of hard to run out of makeup so the first thing that i uh, had tried before it's and this is like a mini size. This is a Makeup Forever um, Excessive Lash. It's an eyelash. And this is what it looks like. The one looks like this. This one is already like... You, it doesn't have any more. I ran out of this one like I want to say two weeks ago. And I like this one because the wand is real like... It's thin. And I like to use this one for my bottom lashes. I know I've said that my favorite mascara is the Rolo Lash Mascara, but I like this one just like an every just like an, an everyday look because it is not. I know it says excessive lash, but I don't feel like it does much to my lashes. I mainly like to use this one for my lower lashes because it is um, thin and it doesn't get all over the place. But I really don't feel like it gives volume or anything to your lashes. I just like this on a natural day look where I just want, you know, a little bit of color on my lashes or whatever. So I did run out of this one and actually I do plan on purchasing the fuller size because I really do enjoy this mascara for an everyday look. The other thing that I have is from Colourpop and this is their brow gel. I'm not sure if I have mentioned this before because I think this is like my second or third tube that I ran out of. And this is the clear brow gel which looks like this. This one also has like a super tiny wand. Um, it looks all gooey and brown because it's just like old product there from my brows. When I apply this on my eyebrows it stains it like from the brown. And it's already all gooey and nasty. I'm pretty sure it does have a little bit on it on it there. But I'm not going to use it because it already looks all disgusting. I do have another one that I'm using curr currently. And yes, I really like this because it keeps your eyebrows in place. And I really do enjoy it. The other thing that I have, you all know that I love this. And this is the Smashbox Primer Water. I've mentioned this one before too um i have a lot of these sample not sample size they're like mini sizes because my sister-in-law gives them to me on my stockings and also i have them because they came like on a trio pack of a primer and some other stuff i can't really remember but i really like these because i feel like it moisturizes my face before i apply makeup so i would apply my moisturizer maybe like 10 minutes before I apply my makeup and then I would go in with this spray it all over my face and I feel like it just brings my skin back to life it gives it moisture and I really um, like how my makeup applies on top of this so I really like this and and like I said I do have more of these because I love those primer waters another thing that I have is once again uh, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this because it sprays like an aerosol. It doesn't kind of like squirt in your face. Um, I've gone through these like crazy. I actually need to buy another one because this one is empty. And I don't have it anymore. And I don't have an extra one. I've been using the Mario Badescu one. But I, I just like how this one feels. And I like how my makeup looks afterwards. It's just like a natural finish. And these are super, super affordable. I think they're like $15 or something. And I am going to purchase another one because I really like this setting mist. Another thing that I have is my Clinique um, Take Off the Day. Wait, what's it called? Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which looks like this. I go through these. Also, I think I use one of these whole things maybe like in a month and a half. 
and I like this to take off my makeup at night it really does melt your makeup and it's easy to wash off and I don't feel like it leaves my skin greasy I've tried another balms and I feel like my face feels so greasy and gross and I break out this one doesn't do that to me I really like it because it does remove all my makeup completely and it does not leave any residue or or like greasiness to my skin and I really do enjoy it Another thing that I have, this one looks like it still has some in there, but it's just liquid and Q-tip can't really reach down there. So I'm just going to throw it away because there's nothing really left under there. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. If you all don't know what this is, what are you waiting for? You need to go get this if you have breakouts. I like this because whenever I get a breakout, let's say like right here, I usually get my breakouts around right here. I just grab a Q-tip, dip it all the way down to this green part. You're not supposed to shake it, first of all. Um, I take the Q-tip to this part right here, and I just dab it in my breakout that I have. And by the next morning, either it's gone if it was tiny, or it, like, it kind of, like, went down. So I like to apply this at night and just sleep with it. Even my husband uses this. At first, he would make fun of me. And now he's like, where's your pink thing that you put on your pimples? So, yeah, I really like this. And I do have another one because I can't live without it. And it's really, really, really good, you guys. So, if you haven't tried it, um, get yourself to Ulta and buy it. Okay, the next, th the next thing I have is a perfume. I have so many perfumes, but I always tend to use the same one. And my favorite perfume of all, all time is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. This is the first perfume that she came out with. It's the one with the pink hair. I love this because it is so soft. It's fruity. And it's not like, uh, you know how, like, we all call it the old lady perfume. If you know what I mean. Like, if you ever call the perfume old lady scent, um those perfumes i hate this one is nothing like it it smells super fresh and i really do enjoy it and i finally ran out through this one and this one my mom gave it to me i think for christmas i can't really remember but i already went out went through it and i can't wait to purchase another one and i think this is like the medium size because there is a bigger one i believe I think I'm going to move to hair care. So you all know that I like the Garnier Fructis. This is a pure clean detangler air dry uh, aloe extract. This is just like a spray that you apply after you shower. And I've actually gone through two of these because these are so good. They smell good. They detangle my hair. Right now I'm using another one. I haven't purchased this one anymore because I'm just trying something else. And yes, these are really good if you guys um, have... Um, if you guys get tangled hair, these are very, very good. Or if you have kids and their hair gets super tangled, these are super good. And it actually moisturizes your hair and it feels kind of like silky. So I really do enjoy these. The next thing that I want to talk about is a shampoo. You all know that I have this balayage on my hair. So you do need to treat it with either a purple shampoo or a blue shampoo. Currently, I'm still using my, my blue shampoo. And I had bought this one before I bought the blue one because, because I knew that you needed to use a purple shampoo. I had no idea there was a blue shampoo. So I knew... I knew we needed to use a purple shampoo, so I just grabbed whatever I found. And this is called Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo. It neutralizes brassiness, gently cleanses, and enhances shine. So, I only use this about two times a week. And I actually went through this one because... You all see it's purple. I went through this one because um, my hair does tend to get a little brassy, like... I want to say like maybe in a week or week and a half because I do wash my hair basically every single day. So I really like this because it did help with my brassiness and it actually smells good and it doesn't leave my hair like rough or anything. So I did go through this one. I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this one because I am going to purchase another purple shampoo but from another brand to try it out. So but that doesn't mean that I didn't like it. I did like it. Next we have a dry shampoo and this was just like a mini one that I got in a pack with a shampoo. This is the Organics uh, Coconut Miracle Oil Dry Shampoo. This you guys smells so good. It smells like coconut. 
yeah i can't really smell it because it's gone it smells like coconut and i don't get itchy with this i tried another dry shampoo that i tend to get itchy this one doesn't make me itchy and it doesn't leave your hair like a white cast you know some dry shampoos you apply them and it's like a white cast this one doesn't do that and i really do feel like it um cleans my scalp and yes i really do like it i also have this palm metro color protect conditioner i'm currently still using the shampoo once in a while but for some reason i think this happens with everyone conditioners run run out so much faster than shampoos i guess because we tend to use a lot and this is the color protecting one i really do like it the only thing i don't like is um the smell it's not that great it just smells like i don't know like formulated conditioner to protect hair color i don't know what it smells like but it just smells like it doesn't smell pretty it has just like a like a simple scent to it so i but i really do like it it does leave my hair soft and it protects my color so this is the other thing that i have i'm gonna go to skincare so for skincare i have this clean and clear dip action exfoliating scrub and this is an oil free exfoliates to clean dip down to the pores i usually use this when i shower i keep this inside my shower and this one actually lasted for a long time because i don't use it every day i don't really use this for the deep action pore cleaning because i don't feel it does that because the beads are not rough they're just like the ones that dissolve i like this because of the scent it smells like mint and it feels like your face is like super minty oh yes it smells so minty that's basically what i use it for because it feels my face feels so fresh and yes i do have another one of these because i really like it and like i said my face feels minty I also have my cleansing gel. This is the Acure cleansing gel. This is like the old packaging. Right now it's like a yellow packaging. This is the Acure cleansing gel. And I like this because this I feel like it cleanses my face. It cleanses my face and it doesn't break me out. It doesn't give me a rash. It's not, it's not harsh on my skin. So I really like that as well. Also I have here my day cream and night cream. These are tiny. These are small, so I go through them like in a month. I don't know why they don't. I know I don't know why they don't sell like the big bottle. So this is the night cream and the day cream. I use these a lot, and I also have more because I. This is the brand that I use for my skincare. I also have this Acure the Essentials Marula Oil. You all know that I love Marula or coconut oil or argan oil, and I apply this at night on my skin. And then I go in with my moisturizer. I like it because I feel like it moisturizes my skin. And once again, it is natural. It's good for sensitive skin. It doesn't leave a rash. It doesn't feel greasy or anything. I really do enjoy it. And the last thing that I have right here, I know this is kind of weird, but you all know I'm doing keto. And, and this is the Sprouts MCT Organic MCT Oil. If you don't know what MCT Oil is, um... A lot of people who are in keto, they use MCT oil because it gives them um, more fat. So I like to use this on my coffee in the morning. And it also helps with a lot of stuff, you guys. I was reading about it the other day. It helps with diabetes. It helps with blood pressure. It helps with cholesterol. It helps with, it helps with a lot of things. And I really do like this. I actually gone through these like, I think I've used like three bottles. I'm on my third bottle actually. And I do... Um, use one tablespoon every morning with my coffee it doesn't change the taste of the coffee or anything but I like it because I do notice also it helps to go to the restroom so yes if you guys have not tried MCT oil and you're on keto uh, get yourself to the store and buy one so this is it for this video this is all that I have like I said before like I said before I'm gonna continue recycling my empties just because I like to show you guys what I have and what I've used stuff. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.